Hi Virgo, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your uh, March 3rd to March 15th love uh, reading. This is for singles and the ones that are dating. Uh, so uh, Leo, uh, I said it's Leo, sorry. <laughs> I just did the Leo video not too long ago. So um, Virgo, I want to first apologize for the video being late. I do have a family member that's at the hospital, like was in and out of the hospital in the last couple of days. Uh, and um, I am taking care of them in my home right now, so I, I my my you know I have a lot of things on my plate at this moment. But I did not stop thinking about you guys, and I know that you guys have been waiting for your reading. So I do did find some time tonight to uh, do your um, you know you do your reading. Um, so uh, you know please bear with me on that, okay? And um, I do have a few announcements to make uh, before I start the reading. Uh, so for those of you that knew that I had a, uh, that I had a website last month, it it, ha it has been compromised, unfortunately. So I I do not have access to it since uh, February twenty first. It's still up and running on the on the web, but I do not have access. So if you are sending trying to reach me there, uh, it, I'm not there. Okay. So the only way that you could reach me is um two ways. I have you could reach me uh, if you want a reading or for any services I provide. Uh, you can reach me at Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 at gmail.com. So it's Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 at gmail.com. And for others of you that have an iPhone, uh, there's this free app called Instango. You could uh, download it for free. It's www.instango.com slash Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111. You could follow me there. Uh, right now I have everything minimal, okay, like uh, $5 of questions on anything you particularly want to know just make sure you leave your dob okay if you're asking me about someone else or for yourself on a particular question uh and um and i do have phone call readings right now that are very minimal and also be video, video call readings okay so let's get started with your reading um i'm using a different format for my readings okay so i already um shuffled the cards and uh, laid some out for you and also uh, I did want to say that when I was shuffling the cards and getting to your energy, Virgo, I feel a lot of you are putting boundaries up, okay? There's a lot of boundaries that you're putting up. Uh, boundaries uh, with people, things that you never expected to have boundaries with or people with. I feel like you're like uh, really like concentrating on fixing, putting boundaries around things or people, okay? I also felt for you that there's uh, someone from the past that's coming back for some of you. That's about for 5% of you. For others of you, I feel there's a divine partnership around you at this moment. You've been working hard on yourself. I feel that you're whole, like you're healed, you're whole, okay? Um, and you went through all your past life's experiences, and I do feel there's a divine partnership here for you. Uh, for others of you, I feel that you have really cultivated patience, okay? And um, really cultivated grounding yourself and, you know, working with your light and shadow as well. So let's get started with the reading here. So uh, this is um, Amira's Oracle deck that I have here, and I wanted to start using it. It's a it's a fun deck to work with, okay? So I want to use it for this month. I might be changing many ways on how I'm going to do my card readings, uh, but the channeling is always there, so it's always that's always going to stay the same. So um, this is a recent past, present moment, and the near future. So let's get started. Okay, so here you have a mature woman. This could be you. Okay, and there's also a divine partner, uh, aka twin flame, that's here for you in the recent past. Okay, now man or woman, it doesn't matter, same gender. Okay, uh, this is person that has dark hair, like maybe black, dark, dark black, or just black hair, light eyes, could be blue, could be green, okay, or turquoise. Uh, this person could be you, okay, a very beautiful woman, very grounded, uh, knows what she wants or what he wants, okay. Uh, but they're very mature and very knowledgeable. And you have the, you do have a divine partner in your recent past, okay? And this is your destiny, okay? So it's something that, you know, you know that divine partners is your destiny, right? So I'm going to take out a few cards here to see uh, what um, this all means, okay? I'm going to take out like two extra cards of each to get more of an idea of what's going on with you, Virgo. I hope you've been doing well. If this reading does not resonate with you, or let's say a part of it does, and the rest is confusing, that means the rest is not for you. Uh, because if a reading is confusing, it means it's not meant for you. Always look at your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus to get you more of an idea of what's going on in your life, okay? Because there's always going to be, uh, you know, there's always going to be like 
uh, other hints that maybe in your sun sign you're not gonna get okay so this is someone from the recent past okay I feel here now for some of you I would say about maybe 8% of you there's someone from the I feel there's someone that's coming in to offer you uh, someone that's coming in to offer you an apology okay so someone's gonna come around to apologize I feel here uh, there is a new beginning here uh, in the recent past some of you <laughs> look at that <laughs> that's when I know my uh, my readings are accurate you know uh, when the cards come out like this you got the two cards of the divine partner okay someone from the recent past this was recent okay um, your intuition your psych is right on target Virgo okay so do not question yourself this is someone that's very mature okay uh, someone it could be someone at your workplace okay as well it could be that you met this person in a workplace where uh you are uh, that you're like um what's the word that uh, they're showing me something i'm trying to put it into words um where there you, you serve clients or something like that okay someone at work okay uh but there is a divine partnership here very prominent for you uh in your recent past this could be like five to six months ago okay uh, you were dealing with this person who is very mature, very uh, knows what they want. Okay, um, no playing games here. And uh, I feel that in the recent past, some of you Virgos did go see a psych, uh, a tarot reader or a psychic to know more about this person. But I feel that this is you, that your psych is very, very. You know that this person is around you. Okay, you know that this person is around you. This is in the recent past like really recent oops too many cards now you could be offering to someone a cup of love or someone's coming in to offer you a cup of love okay this could be a younger cancer scorpio or pisces uh it doesn't have to be okay uh, it could also be a military man or, or a marine land man, like a navy person uh someone from afar okay but they're coming in to offer you some something to offer you a cup of love there it is. There's your cup of love, Virgo. Okay, I'm so happy for you, Virgos. Uh, I know that you've been having a hard time lately, but here's your cup of love. It's very overwhelming. This is the love, divine love. You see this hand that's coming in here? The hand, these hands are from the divine, the angels, okay, that are bringing you this uh, 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 divine partnership, divine partnership here for you. And you are very in tuned, okay? You're very in tuned. You're light and shadow is uh, balanced um, as much as you love your light you love your shadow and I do feel there's an opportunity maybe it could also come now this is a love reading but if I see something financial I will say it okay I know a lot of you don't like that but I um, I will st I will state it anyways because some people do like that okay it could be that you're gonna meet this person near uh, work around work I feel um, and maybe um, you're gonna get like um, someone's gonna come and offer you. I feel for some of you now, for those of you that are psychics, okay, or mediums or uh, tarot readers, I feel that there's an opportunity coming for you for a partnership, okay, um, uh, with your let's say if you do cards or you are on your or you are on YouTube or you do any type of uh, uh, service out there for others. I feel there's a partnership coming in for you, a new offering here. And I feel that uh, you're going to take it because there is a... Uh, wow, it's so beautiful. Um, I do see like uh, there is someone coming in for you, okay? This is some, your recent past. Maybe you don't know that this person is your twin, uh, divine partner, but I do feel that for 10% of you, you do know already. For others of you, there is a friendship that was there for you. There was a friendship, okay? There's a lot of love, overwhelming love, okay? You're going to like feel so over-emotional with this. Very over like over-emotional and... Um, it's going to make you feel so many different emotions that uh, you won't believe that it's happening to, towards you. It's like you can't, you can't believe that it's happening towards you. But there is a, someone coming in for you that was here in your recent past. Like if you're single and you're dating, there is someone around you, okay, in your recent past. And you're right on target with this person. Your psychic is, okay. Uh, this person is coming in and bearing a lot of gifts for you. They're bearing a lot of gifts, okay. Um... Uh, now, um, 
I feel for five percent of you that you don't you you feel that you know who this person is, okay? Um, you're probably offering love, and they're offering friendship, but there is there is something here coming in, but. This person is coming from afar, okay? And they are going to be bringing gifts. Uh, you're going to be receiving gifts from the universe, okay? For all the hard work you've been putting been putting on, okay? And there's going to be money associated with this. So you're having money coming in. So this is very... Um, this is a beautiful omen for you, Virgo. There's money, there's love, there's gifts coming in for you. This person that's coming in for you, I feel, okay? Whether it's a man, woman, it doesn't matter uh, which gender and what sign it is, okay? Because... Um, it's going to be different for everybody. But this person is bringing a lot with them to offer you, okay? And they might seem cold to you, okay? Uh, this person could be a Libra, Aquarius, or... Uh, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person. Or this is a person that, you know, uh, they're very uh, cold. So you probably don't know. Maybe you do. So please let me know if this resonates with you. Uh, Virgo, but there's someone around you, maybe an, uh, uh, could be an older gentleman or older female, someone mature, okay, they're very mature, they've been through a lot in life, okay, they've been through a lot, a lot in life, but they're very mature, and um, I feel that they're very disconnected as well in some way, not disconnected, like they're disconnected and they're cold in some ways, okay, they don't share their feelings, um, or this could be you that you're not sharing your feelings, but there is beautiful gifts and money coming towards you. There's love. You have a divine partnership. Okay. Um, that's here for you. Why is the gifts here? Show me why the gifts are right here. I feel like you're dealing with someone that is like, um, that it, that's very stable. This could be also you that you're very stable. Um, okay. Um, I feel that there's marriage here down the line for you so i do feel in virgo for in 2018 you will be married okay so this is for two, in 2018 you will be married so you just could be dating someone and it's going to come very quickly unexpected very quickly unexpected coming towards you could be i have also sagittarius here i have leo and i have uh um, aries as well okay and i do see marriage here and you're you're like you're gonna be your values are the same here there's going to be victory with this person. Now, this could be also you, okay? Um, no, that's not the card because it has to come out. Uh, I see someone, like, again, I see someone coming in for you in the present moment, uh, victorious. Or this is you being victorious because you are whole, you're complete. Your psyche is amazing. You have so much love around you, kindness. But there's someone that's very cold and disconnected from you. So you're not 100% sure. But you need to follow your gut instincts on this, okay? Because you know, Virgo. I don't have to tell you. You know. And this person could be a bit famous, okay? Doesn't have to be famous, but like in Hollywood famous. But I'm saying like around, like, let's say it is a, a, an army guy or a military guy or a guy from the Marines or somewhere or someone that is uh, well known in their uh, community. Someone that people love him or they love her or they praise them. You know, this could be you or this could be the other person, okay? And this is someone from your past. There's someone here from your past. This is the end, the end of your hardships. There's a new beginning here for you, Virgo. A new beginning happening for you. You've got two tens on the ground. Ten, ten. Ten, ten means you're on the right path. Okay? One, one, one. Okay? I do see three ones up to now on the ground. And um, even though it seems like, okay, well, you know, these are, these are, this is what is showing me here with, in the present moment that you went through a lot. You helped, you had a lot on your back. You had a lot. You went through so many heartaches, okay, in your past, but it's the ending. It's the ending, and there's a new cycle happening for you, okay?
you're moving forward. This is a, um, you're moving forward with your life, okay? You're taking your life in your own hands. This is exactly the same as this card in a way. I see it in that way, okay? Where your light, okay? Look at these two cards I'm going to show you, try to explain to you, okay? You see, there's the black and the white, the black and the white here. You're, you, you, are, you are complete. Your light and your shadow are equal, okay? Both in balance. As much as you love your light, you accept your your shadow side, and you are taking your life in your own hands and moving forward, okay? You know where you're going. You're, you know where you're going, okay? And um, you can also be dealing with a Cancer as well, uh, or a Sagittarius here, okay? And uh, I also see traveling back and forth. You got two sixes right off the bat. Six, six, uh, that's like um, when the six, 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 six is come in, uh, it talks about uh, harmony, joy, okay? There's money coming towards you. There's gifts coming towards you. Universe is showering you for all the hard work you've been... The, all the hard work, or, okay? The, all the hard work. Why is the Six of Wands and the Six of Cups reversed? Why is the Six of, six of Cups reversed? Show me the card. Wait a second. No. I'm getting here a water sign again. Now, this could be, uh, this is someone from your past. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, um, very intuitive. Um, maybe this person that uh, you met in the recent past is very intuitive. Maybe they are psychics. Maybe they're mediums. Maybe they, but they're very intuitive. Could be, a, you know, um, very grounded as well. Very compassionate, loving, understanding. Uh, you know, uh, loves to listen, okay? And this is someone from your past that you try to build something with, okay? But it's uh, it's in delay, okay? Let me see here what's going in your near future. There's going to be fun times for you. And it's someone long distance here, it shows me. Someone long distance. And yes, this, again, I see the marriage card twice, okay? I do see engagement, someone getting married in 2018, Okay, so this is for about 10% of you here, okay? So there is a union that's coming together. Uh, again, I got all the signs here. Someone that's long distance as well. Someone that's long distance. I do feel that they're coming from a distance, okay? You're going to be having fun times with friends. I do feel a lot of celebration here for you, okay? In the near future. Yeah, okay. Why is the Eight of Cups there? I feel that some of you walked away here. Okay, now, I feel some of you walked away from a certain feeling. A uh, certain, uh, you see, with this Eight of Cups, I'm not seeing it as uh, you walking away from fun times. No. What I'm seeing here is that the Eight of Cups is here because they're showing me that you're walking away from all things that were heavy to your heart. Like the Ten of Wands and the Ten of uh, Swords, where you went through a lot of things, okay? You had to go through a lot of things, okay? And so you're walking away from emotional stuff, things that were hurting you from the past, and you're going to start enjoying your life now, okay? A lot of you are putting boundaries up, okay? Boundaries, boundaries of how other people, how this is what I felt from the beginning. Boundaries for, from other people that are trying to get into your mix. Like you're really protecting what you produced, what you are, you what you acclaimed up to now, what you've done for yourself up to now. You're not going to just let anybody come in your life. This is what I'm feeling, okay, uh, Virgo? Oops, there's a card here. As a person is long distance, but your ships are coming in. Your ship is coming in. And you've been patiently waiting. You are waiting. You feel stuck and stagnant, but you're not really. Okay? Because the angels are working behind the scenes. The universe is working behind the scenes to get you this. 
whatever it is that's coming towards you is going to bring you all your dreams come true. At one point, maybe you felt unbalanced, but you are not anymore. Happy home, happy time coming towards you. Stability in a home. That's what's going to come. But right now, it's still in reverse because it's not happening now. It, there's a reverse. There's someone that you're waiting for. But this is when this person comes to you. They will bring you stability. They will bring you gifts. They will bring you money. Okay. Um, they will bring you stability in a home. Happy times and marriage. I do see some of you, your goals, 10% of you that are going to be married in 2018. So congratulations. Virgo. I feel a lot of you have been cleaning cleaning your energy field, cleaning everything. Oh my god, it's too many cards. Okay. I have a lot of fours on the ground. The angels are here. The angels are here for you. A lot of you don't want to open your heart and let go of this fear. It's up to you because at the end you make a this you have to make the decision. Yeah, you're just waiting. Okay, because there's something that's not completed for you. There's something that's not completed for you, Virgo. Okay, but it's coming, okay? This is someone that's coming. This is your divine partnership is here a hundred percent. Okay, and um there will be uh there will be marriage in 2018. Okay, you will be proposed to anyways. Uh, but the message is delayed. Okay, the message is delayed still in the near future. You're waiting. Your ships are, are coming in. But there's something that's not completed. It's this person coming in towards you. As soon as this person comes, this will turn around. Okay, and it's like the Wheel of Fortune. Almost the same kind of card. But which is uh, life lessons being learned. And a new cycle that's happening. Because you have your angels in the four corners of the world helping you with this but it's, right now it's just in delay okay there's still a delay okay there's still things that we need to go through right okay so now i'm going to take um these cards here that i take i took them out before i don't know if you see them okay um so here in your past it shows me it's an ace so you got two aces okay oops let me put that here you got two aces two ace of cups that's coming towards you they say, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romantic love, the rebirth of a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights that's coming in for you. So this is awesome, okay? Congratulations. And look, it's peaceful. There's a dove here. Look how beautiful this card is. Oh, the High Priestess twice, okay? Twice the card shows up. Psychic, okay? Epiphany is coming in for you. Trust your... Uh, trust your uh, your psychicness, trust your inner self, okay? Because you know, Virgos, you spend a lot of time within yourself to know the truth, okay? This is a time to pause and reflect and not to take any action. Trust in your spiritual gifts. I believe that uh, in this time also, the universe will gift you with your spiritual gifts, okay? You're going to wake up one morning and you're going to be more spiritual than ever. Your psychicness is going to be more profound than any other times, okay? Um... And uh, trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. Okay, so you have to you need to trust in yourself. Okay, and then you got uh, the emperor number four. You got three fours on the ground. Four, four, four. Archangels are with you. The angels are guiding, loving you, and supporting you. Perfect. It's like, or someone that's like an Aries, or someone that's like I feel someone that is very, like, you know, I feel someone like very victorious. Um, they're very refined, mature uh, here, he or she, okay? But it's also time for you to structure, declother. I feel like you're going to be declothering, cleaning your energy around you and also declothering your home. It's like you're donating a lot of stuff and you're probably giving stuff away and you're making room. If you're making room, it's because someone's coming in, okay? So it says structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership, leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer, okay? So, yeah, so 
this year it shows me that you also have in yeah organization you taking the lead what i feel here that you will be taking the lead okay and some of you are waiting for someone the, the ships are coming in your ships are coming in long distance over here okay so congratulations now i'm going to take a few cards from the doreen virtue romance angels what are the messages they're saying it is safe for you to love virgo Open your heart to give and receive the the highest energy of all. Okay, that was from your... No, give me a card for the present moment. Give me a card from the, for the present moment for Virgo. You got two here that came out. So one that says, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal your past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay? And... You got attraction here, okay? And so because here it says present moment, I'm going to explain to you. In this card, there's a man in the window over here. And there's a lady that's smelling flowers. And she is in her present moment, okay? Taking time for herself, smelling the roses. And this man is watching her, falling in love with her. Okay, so you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So they're asking you to be in the present moment and to forgive and to learn from the situation. From whatever it is that you had to learn what you had to learn from, okay? And to be forgiving, like that you could release yourself. And I feel here you have angels around you, okay? And free yourself, they're saying, okay? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, Virgo, okay? So these are the messages I'm getting for you, okay? And now we're going to take a card from uh, the Sacred Power, from Anna Stark. If I could find my book. Where did I put my book? Oh, there it is. So... This is Anna Stark. Okay. So I'm one card for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from March 3rd to March 15th for singles and dating. These are beautiful cards to get. Too many cards. Um, where are the messages? They're very powerful, and if you are like an intuitive person, a healer, you should get them. They will help your clients. I'm going to read a passage from it. Where are the messages? There you go. Your intuition. <laughs> Look at the beautiful this card is, Virgo. Use your intuition. I feel all of you, your crown chakra is opening. You're receiving light from the divine. And your third eye is open here too as well. I, see, I feel that your intuition and your, th your crown chakra is really opening up here. And your, your third eye is going to be completely open. I feel that the divine will gift you this, okay? For others of you, I will see what this means for you, okay? I'm just going to get... Uh... So this is number 17. I'm going to keep the card here. It says, look beyond the surface. Listen carefully to your inner voice, okay, Virgo? Right now, you must acknowledge your inner knowing. While you may have lacked confidence in trusting your natural gut instincts in the past, now is the perfect time to clear away any doubts. Acknowledge your gifts that were given at birth. You can access these at any time through meditation and a developed practice. Your third eye is open. Pay attention to visions, thoughts, and impressions of those around you. Strengthening your third eye will help you look deeper into a situation. By learning to trust your gut instinct, you tune into your body's senses. Spiritual realization is a focus now. There is, an, there is no need to compare yourself to others. See this as confirmation of your unique gifts, which can be used with passion and purpose. Listen to your senses so you can approach circumstances and people with caution, enhancing your personal power. Clear and balance your energies regularly to maintain accurate a vision. So your affirmation, if you want to repeat after me, is I am able to see clearly and accurately through divine assistance. Wow, what a powerful reading. So Virgo, thank you for being here. Thank you for like um, understanding that I am late, and um, you know, and bearing with me. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you uh, in mid month. Okay, so take care. Know that I love you. Bye, Virgo.